In this year's COP28, world leaders have agreed to focus on the loss and damage fund. This fund will assist developing countries that are particularly vulnerable to the adverse impacts of climate change. Prof. Mari, regarding this issue, what can we expect from this year's COP28? I think it goes beyond the loss and damage fund. It's actually a combination of the 100 billion that has not been delivered. And then on top of that, last year, actually, finally, they agreed that there should be some funding for loss and damage. In Egypt, when I attended this discussion on how to uh, address loss and damage, there was kind of an agreement that we do need to assess, first of all, what are the needs before you come up with a number. There needs to be more work done on really uh, identifying the investment needs. And actually, Indonesia, we've already progressed quite far in terms of identifying what we think is our investment needs.